This tutorial is all about background images with Gutenberg. When we did our template site, we got a little clue on how to do background images with Gutenberg. If we go to the list view, you can see right off the bat in the about page. And if you haven't done a template site um, and you're a beginner, I would highly recommend it because you get a lot of the expert blocks that are already created for you. So here we have the very top of the about page. We have we click the list view, we see we have the block cover. So that is the block that you want for a simple background image. It gives you a background image and a header. Or actually it gives you a paragraph by default and then you can change it to a header. So if we were going to make this on our own, I'll scroll to the bottom and I'll do a new block cover and media library. And I'll put in this little image and we see we get the paragraph block and you can either add to it by uh, doing the three dots insert after do another block make it a header or you know there's a lot of different options all right so now we have two blocks within our image if we get back to the cover settings by going up one level so here are the cover settings and over here it depending on the image size you can adjust the focal point and if i scroll down on the side for even more settings you might not be able to see it but there's an overlay setting and you can adjust the opacity of the cover of the overlay and this minimum height right here is also adjusted right here on the actual page or within the settings um, panel on the right and yeah so that's it for the basic one there's also the parallax fixed background so if i click that you see it adjusts it based on the dimensions so you might have to adjust the dimensions of the photo you upload if you you want to use that like in this case it doesn't really so yeah that's the simple background image the next level is when you start to use grouping and columns so if I was to just do another top level block say the group block and then I used a background color for that over here on the side all right, so I used a background color on the group, and now within that group, I am going to add an image, a cover image. And I'll just use this one. All right, so you say, well, it just covered up the group, but if I go to the group level, I'm going to go up one level to the group block, and I change the width to like. 500 suddenly we are you know working within different layers so this is pretty nice and we can change this to a header so and then within this cover image I'm going to add another widget or another block of columns two columns so now we're starting to get like Russian doll style where we had a group and that's why this listing over here is very helpful. We started with a group level. We did the settings for 500 wide and then we did the cover image and that cover went 500 wide. Then we had our header and then we have our columns. So that's kind of how you start to uh, really get more complex layouts and, and, and all of that. But um, I really just wanted to show off kind of the basics of the background images. I'm going to do a couple more videos on this. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for much appreciated for any likes and subscribes if you made it this far in the video. Thanks.